Hello buddies, good to see you all. Welcome, welcome to this uh, supporter live stream. I am going to be playing Pathfinder Kingmaker tonight. We're gonna do not a new game, but we're uh, well a new game, but we're gonna do Beneath the Stolen Lands tonight. And you guys, if you're in the queue, exclamation mark queue join. I will be picking names and giving you a race and class randomly. So we never know what party we're going to go with. Um, I do want to show, I'm not going to take myself as a character, but uh, exclamation mark Q, 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 and join in two words. If you're not in there, let me check. Current? Yeah, you're already in there. Hey, Laurel, good to see you, buddy. Remember to join the queue. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show my nice artwork. I'm gonna show what Norgna has made for me. But I want you guys in there and we only start with four. That's why. We're gonna play on challenging but with death store on as I usually do. There we go, good. Yeah, <laughs> it worked even. <laughs> Oh, I think it was from last time, buddy. All right, so we uh, did try the Tenebrious Depths or the Endless Dungeon uh, a while back when it came out. So I'm going to go with that attempt. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> ruining the magic. <laughs> We're going to go with that attempt because then we get a bonus to begin with. Uh, we can start at additional 2600 experience points. I think that's only for my character that means we're going to be level two that means we can only hire two two characters uh lord mongo no uh the only one that is going to be in the game that could suggest a class is draco blade but he's not here it seems so i'm gonna pick one for him but it's gonna be random it's gonna be fun we like randoms you can roll it yourself if you want to. You can roll it yourself. I'll let you guys roll your own main character. Start the main, uh, your main character plus one AC. Plus one. Uh, if you use exclamation mark class art bug, that is what I'm going to use. You can test it, but not until I draw your name will it count. I made, I made a thing. Halfling monk. For instance that's what you're gonna be <laughs> so I'm gonna do plus one AC it's fine oh you don't level up until you hired everyone oh but they will still be level one right oh frack it let's go with that I like that Higher first and then level up, of course, so I'll be higher level, or the first character will be higher level. Yeah, let's do that. And accept. And it's gonna be Draco Blade, that is the first character I make, because he is my $50 patron and my tier 3 Twitch subscriber. So he gets perks that way. But I'm going to pick a class for him and a race. He's going to be ASMR Magus Eldritch Archer. That is pretty cool. He's my sugar daddy. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I miss him though. I think he's pretty busy after he got promoted. ASMR Magus Eldritch Archer. So we need to find an archer type thing. Here, I have so many, so many images. Don't even know what's going on. This one, I love that one. Love it. Uh, oh, that is pretty cool, though. I like that one. Holy cow. He doesn't have a bow, though. That is very angelic. Why don't they have bows? 
Oh, he shoots laser rays. That is perfect. That is Draco Blade. Yeah, an image with wings. <laughs> we like lasers. <laughs> the green tree one. Oh, nice. Cool. All right, we're going to go with this one, and we're going to go ASMR. And... Blonde face. No, he doesn't look that mad. There we go. Body type is fine. And then beard? No beard. No beardy. Long blonde hair. Long blonde hair. There we go. Oh my god, it's sort of like it's made for this. And what what was it? We we said uh, Magus Eldritch Archer. And Draco likes he likes his uh, black dragons, so we're gonna go we're gonna go black. Oh, that looks freaking awesome. Looks very good. Alright, so the cool thing about the Eldritch Archer, funny enough, this was my first character in Pathfinder Kingmaker. How random is that? Um, is that they can wear heavy armor later in the game. They can they can use it just like any any um, warrior. And the thing with the angel blooded is that they get plus strength. And we're gonna make him a composite longbow wielder. Favored. Uh, we're not gonna reset the racial traits because you can. That is pretty cheesy because you can get a variant ability and it takes away all the uh, things you can do, like summon nature's ally or whole person and stuff like that. But it gives you plus two to a stat, and this is something that's added in the Magic Arcana, I think. And this as well. Or it's advanced. It might be advanced martial arts. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. The skin. You guys. Lord Mungo. You guys have it. Yeah. It looks freaking awesome. I love that image. Alright, so we want high strength. We want uh, high dexterity. Because that is his to hit and that is his damage output. We need intelligence as well. We don't need charisma that much. And constitution, he shouldn't be hit, but we never know. So let's go 12. 15 int. Let's go 16. 16 on that. And 8. Yeah, I can't dump chat anymore, though. Only to nine. Apparently, they are not allowed to be ugly. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. Then we're gonna go with uh, trickery. How many points? Two. Okay. Seven plus two for race. Yeah. So it makes nine. Yeah. That's the lowest we can go. <laughs> you can't go any lower. Uh, perception. We need that, but I hopefully we'll get someone else that can do that. Uh, knowledge, we can go with him. Yeah, two knowledge. I don't know if 15 is... <laughs> You've never seen an ugly angel, have you? No, I haven't, Laurel. <laughs> I haven't seen an angel, have you? Yeah, a lot of perception. That's what we need. I'm gonna skip the, uh, the, um, you can set, you can set a deity, but it doesn't really do anything unless you're a cleric. It's pure fluff. Uh, and then I'm gonna take some of these magic traits. Because they are pretty cool and I can't really skip them. Magical knack, is that the one plus two trait? No. So I have one, yeah, Magical Lineage. Magical Lineage is pretty insane. Because, uh, where is it? Magical Lineage, it allows you to, when you apply metamagic feats to spells, they add at least one level, three, treat it as one level lower. 
which means that when we when we use meta magic feats to enhance or something like that it's going to be zero to enhance it really good Yeah. I think it can go to zero. I think it is. Yeah. Total cheese. Anatomist is really good as well. So we're going to go with that. And then magic trade. Oh yeah, there. Magic lineage spell level one. Pick one spell. Uh, we're going to go... I can't. What? What was that? <laughs> but, buddy. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Thauric. <laughs> Gotta love that. And I have a new. I have a new thing I want to do when someone subs. So when you sub, you get this one. Kid through a cookie store. Now I want cookies. <laughs> I think it's from Borderlands 2. It's pretty awesome. I like it. Chewing through waves like a fat kid. Just to add one more. Chewing through waves like a fat kid through a cookie store. Through a cookie now store. Now I want cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the cookies and you got the golden one, Thalric. That is the real cookie. Uh, we're gonna go with enlarge person because enlarge person works with bows as well, and we're gonna go with shocking grasp. You can make shocking grasp work later on if you if you really want to. Snowball is a ranged touch, right? Range touch, yeah. Uh, true strike. Vanish. Corrosive. You can make, you can get a meta magic enhancement that makes your corrosive touch ranged. Uh, but whatever, shield. True Strike, Vanish. Snowball with Bow. I'm always ready. Draco Blade. That is you. Uh, whatever. Alignment doesn't matter either. So we're just, uh, we're just gonna go... We're gonna go good. Lawful good. Cause he's an angel. I have no use for this. Alright. Draco's in. And we're gonna wait. You, you're like the fat kid in Cookie Store. <laughs> I'm done. I like that one. I like it. He looks like very lawful good, yeah. Oh, level up. So we're going to wait with the level up. That way, I don't need the tutorial. Go away. That way we can, uh, we can hire people at 500 instead so if you haven't yet add your name if you're a sub you can only write in chat if you're a sub or a VIP you can add your name to the list by using exclamation mark Q and join uh, Draco is the main character he's gonna he's probably gonna be the main character for everything yeah but I'll show off Norgnus uh, very very nice artwork nah I want you guys in there I want you guys in there you guys are the important ones not me I just like a side side thing okay so let's get the first one and we can set up all the skills and stuff later let's find a companion and we're gonna pick a name Lord Mongo Lord Mongo, do you want to roll yourself? You can use exclamation mark class, and that is what we're going to go with. Let me see if I can find... It's, it's a bit hard because I have so many, but let me see if I can find myself there. I was there. Okay. 
So Nortna created a fan art of the Game Knight. He drew this himself. See if I can find it. Known Magus Sorsait. Oh, interesting. The melee guy. The Sword Saint is, is a funny Magus because he can't wear any heavy armor. That's prohibited. So this is what Norgna drew. Isn't that lovely? Looks awesome. I love the dragon in the background as well. And the freaking nasty halberd there. The helmet, the golden colors, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it's a bit cut off over there, I see, as well. Only 9,000 portraits. Yeah, just about. <laughs> <laughs> Very good job. Thank you, Norgna. Thank you. Oh, and I just want to say the goblin race is in there as well, so you guys can roll a goblin. All right, uh, so let's find a gnome character for Lord Mungo. Is that a gnome? That's a, more of a dwarf, isn't it? Yeah, it's a dwarf. Oh, good lord. <laughs> that looks like a character from another game I, I, I played when I was younger. Oh, that is awesome! <laughs> he doesn't have a sword, though. That is freaking awesome! Oh, I like I like one of I like this one. The paintbrush is the sword. Yeah, I mean, he's so cute. Lord Mungo. Lord Mungo. You are gonna be a gnome, a proud gnome with a beard. We need the big beard. There we go. I always try and make them fit as as good as possible. Makes sense. Oh, look at the br brushy uh, eyebrows there. That is so cool. Or bushy, not brushy. <laughs> what? The eyes. Can I be a female? Oh, we could go female. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't settle on any. With the hedgehog hair. What is that? Oh, good lord, it's Sonic. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll find a new... We need to find a... Better image then. But what about the glorious beard? Yeah. I like I like the paintbrush as well, but... Lord Mongo, if you want a female gnome... I'll see if I can find one. I don't think there's a lot of gnome portraits, though. Normally, there would be very, very few. That was me trying to make a pun. Some of these are just insanely good. I can't believe that people... That people can actually draw like this, you know? That looks like a Death Knight, that one. Oh, unless the blokes are... Oh yeah, that could be. Let's check. Race. Oh, uh, it's more spiky... thing. Is that... Is that good? It looks cool. We could do that. He's a bit uh, chunky. With a beard. Yeah, we need the beard. <laughs> it's underneath that uh, kettle helmet there. Oh, that looks cool. I like him. Yay, the beard. <laughs> Magus Sword Saint. 
And Lord Mungo, you are always orange on my, uh, on my, on my chat. I don't know why, but you are orange. Amazing! Thank you, Laurel, for using the emotes. I love it. <laughs> Two maguses. So if I if I get this right, um, yeah, light or no armor, wielding his chosen weapon, not using a shield, a sword saint adds one point of intelligence bonus, if any, per magi magus class level as a dodge bonus to armor class. That is insane. That is totally insane. So that could, uh, chosen weapon is proficient with simple weapons and in a single martial or exotic melee weapon of his choice. Wait, oh man, the game, okay. Wait, so it could be a Elven Curve Blade? No, usually spell combat uh, uh, needs them to have one. This function uh, uh, used as ability must have one hand free. Light or one-handed melee weapon. So the best one-handed melee weapon, which one is that? That must be the... We need something with high crit. High crit. Uh, not that one, no. No. Don't think so. No, not all the class roles are uh, are archetypes. There are just fighters as well, but all have a chance to show up. Shimita, Abaddon, thank you, buddy. Stefan, you come in and save my day. As always. Thank you for your comments on my videos. I love it. Love it to bits. Strength. We do need a bit of strength. He's going to be a melee. Oh, that is... That is actually rough. How... He has plus two? Oh, okay. Or rapier. Oh, right. So we could actually go... Yeah, we could just go... Uh... Weapon finesse. Hmm. Yeah, but the intelligence gives me bonus as well. If I go 17, 17, 18, 16, 18... So it's plus 3 AC, and then plus 4, so it's plus 7 when in light armor. Yeah, I think this works. And then we go weapon finesse to boot. Yeah, I like, th I like that idea. Uh, 17 decks? We do have 17 decks. Oh, I could go... Yeah, I could go... Wait. Yeah, I could go 17... No, let's go 18 decks. Because if we're going to use that as our to hit... And then we're going to dip into Rogue. 17, 17 is bad because then you need two levels... To, uh, level 8 until you gain something in both. I, I agree. I agree completely. Uh, knowledge, world... Yeah, perception. Oh, this should be fun. Uh, weapon finesse. Chosen weapon. Let's talk Falcata. Falcata is really cool as well. But let's go. Let's go with the. Uh, let's go with the rapier idea. I like. I like that. I like that idea. Combat trait, we're going to give him the anatomist as well. 
And then we're gonna give... Do we have... Animal Friend Rapscallion. Gain plus one bonus to mobility checks and plus one trait bonus on on uh, initiative. But you can get you can get better ones. What did Game Night said said Nogna said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rostlander. Sword sign. Nay. 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 And de. Why am I speaking? Well, I was about to say French, but uh, definitely not French. Magic trait, we're gonna go with the magical lineage again here. Spell. Uh, level. One. Why is that being so weird? Okay, not really working, is it? <laughs> okay, that got screwed. Let's just go with that. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, okay, I get it now. Magical lineage. Level 1. Yeah, no, that, that, that doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. Go back. Go back. Oh, it breaks on yours as well. Oh, okay. Oh, god dang it. Why you do this? It worked before. No, we already set everything up. Wait, can I... Yeah, I got screwed. Oh, it crashes your level ups? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Okay, how about we just uh, reload that? How about we just reload that? Let's see if we save and reload. I think that works. Okay, try again. Alright, let's find the gnome. Scanning, scanning. <laughs> That's that one as well. Yeah, no, that's not the one. There, that's the one. Gnome, with the funky hairstyle and the manly beard. Gray, a bit fat. The fat gnome. And the Magus, Sword Saint with Orangey, yellowish, cold clothes. I'm gonna go Magus. Reset. Uh, there. Let's not pick that magical knack trait again. Uh, let's go 10, 16, 18. Which I can do like that. That's fine. 
I'd rather have high wisdom and then we can always boost this with belts and stuff. Trickery, those two. That one and that one. We need the perception. <laughs> yeah, Kinesis is awesome, but hey, we're gonna we're gonna stick to what we picked there. Chosen weapon, we're gonna go with the uh, rapier. Skip. It also makes makes it a bit fun because then we don't know what we're gonna go in with. We don't know if uh, the combination is good. It's just fun. Faith. Campaign. Uh, regional. Yeah, we're gonna make you a Rapscallion Gnome. Rapscallion. And here we want some melee touch attacks. Shield, Shocking Grasp. Uh, shocking Grasp is really cool with... with if you can level... Um, tell it to hi have a higher level. But, yeah. True Strike, Vanish. Uh, enlarged Person. Mage Armor. We has no mage armor. Oh, reduce person. We could go reduce person. Yeah. For the armor class. Yeah, yeah. Get it off me. You cannot rest here. No. Lord Mongo, welcome. You are neutral good. Burn. Slice. Behead. Or stab. Maybe. Awesome. First one down. Yeah, armor, um, uh, braces of armor will be much better to get. Alright, next character up is... Stream, stream deck. Next character up it. Next character. Rant! Rant, but... So Rant did roll something in Discord. And I think we're gonna roll with that. Because that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Everyone thought they needed to roll it in Discord, but they didn't. But Rants was so special that I need to go with that. <laughs> that is funny as well. It was a halfling, so we need to find a halfling. Where is the halfling? The half men. That's not a man. Yeah, that was so cute. That was really cute. I think it was a gnome on a big dog. Cutesy dog. One billion portraits is what I have. Which is really nice because when you do stuff like this, you want to find something that fits a bit. It's part of the role-playing. Ew. Oh, we know her. We know her. Holy cow. That's not a halfling, though. I think that is Jaina. <laughs> he, he looks surprised, like, Oh, holy cow, did I do that? <laughs> Half man. Oh, she was the, uh, she's the lover or the, the woman that, uh, in The Witcher 3. From that bad game series. Yeah, she's a, she's a witch or, well, she's a sorcerer. Yeah, yeah, Yennefer. Yes, Lomongo, yeah. His wife or girlfriend or... I don't know. It's complicated. They are complicated. I love The Witcher 3. I wish people wanted to watch me stream it because then I would definitely play it. I might do a YouTube series of it instead. Don't I have any halflings? Or were they here as well? 
with the tiny people. There, I think that could do. I mean, it's more a dwarf though than a halfling. Oh, okay, halflings. That looks like a halfling. Or is it dwarves? I think it's dwarves. Every tiny thing is a dwarf. Why be they all dwarves? That's a halfling. That's rant. It doesn't really f fit, but okay. It, it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, red hair. Kind of bushy like that. Yeah. Dwarves are awesome. I know. Yeah, we'll make him that though. And very uh, contradictory. We're going to make him uh, <laughs> like a, a mad leprechaun here. And then he's going to be a barbarian. Invulnerable Rager. <laughs> oh, I think it's funny. It's so funny. Barbarian Invulnerable Rager Halfling. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't resist to to do that one. He takes a penalty to strength though, which is really bad. Uh. Go down intelligence. He can only get 16 strength. It's fine. We're gonna up the dex quite a bit. We don't need that. So dexterity is good. And I'm gonna say constitution is needed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Comedic value makes up for it. Look at that mobility though. And then. We're going to make... Oh, I picked Stealth on the other one. I didn't want that. Oh, well. And Weapon Focus? What could be cool for him? I'm thinking... Like, the class is, is basically... A barbarian, but with the damage reduction added. Still the fast movement, uh, light armor, medium armor. If you uh, if you use that, for for short, for short. So we need an exotic weapon proficiency. Two-handed flail. <laughs> Two-handed flail. And he can use two-handed flails right now. A falcon. Should be martial. Yeah, because then I I would like to go into... Something he can use right now. Gore. Halfling fanatic. Yeah. It's a halfling fanatic. Completely. I, I like the heavy flail or two-handed flail. Where is that? Is that heavy flail? No. Heavy pick? Is it just a heavy flail? Is that two-handed? Okay, heavy flail. Let's go with that. So he can... Uh, be a complete flailia. <laughs> uh, let's not overthink this. Freed slave. Freedom fighter. Well informed. He is a freed slave. <laughs> Double <Doubles> shimmer toss. <laughs> uh. Alright, he is a brave one. There we go. Oh, we need, uh, he's, uh, he's chaotic good. Forwards. Holy cow, that is gonna be fun. Alright, last 
one before we head in. Who's it gonna be? Pick a name, pick a name, any name. Norgna. Norgna, you're gonna... Uh, do you want to roll your class yourself? Just use exclamation mark. Class. Half Orc Cleric Crusader. <laughs> oh, these combinations. God dang it. <laughs> Robogog. <laughs> what is that? What is Robogog? Half Orc Cleric Crusader. I is that the name you want? Not Norgna? But Robogog? I can do that. I can okay, I can do that. Fair enough. Oh, it's a god. Half orc. Okay. Okay. We got some half orcs here. So wait, what? What is the crusader anyway? I have never used him. We'll get to. We'll get to this in a moment. Oh, a fighter cleric thing. Okay. Uh, paladin. Oh, wait, it's not a paladin. Cleric Crusader. There. Uh, so it has cleric proficiencies, which is simple light armor, medium armor, shields. Deity. Channel energy. Domain selection. Detect magic and Crusader bonus feat. Gains bonus bonus feet at level one and then at five and every five levels. Bonus feats must be chosen from heavy armor proficiency, shield bash, martial weapon proficiency, saving shield, shield focus. Okay, so oh, extra domain feet, martial feats, greater weapon focus at level ten. Okay, so basically. A my fighter cleric tank. Huh. Alright, we need a a god. We need a god. So I think I think the portrait is actually good. Rovogog. Do we have Rovogog? We don't have Rov Oh Rovogog, right there. And then I can only challenge. You're, you're not. You're a good one. You're a good one. Not Robogog. That's great axe. He's evil. We need a good one. Quarterstaff. <laughs> Iomade. Iori. My uh, my my character in Pathfinder is actually uh, Iori. Gorum. Oh yeah, Gorum is good. He can be chaotic good. I like Gorum. Channel positive. And then we can go with the Chaos, Glory, Strength, War Domain. Domain spells are Bless, Aid, Magical Investment, Divine Power, Flame Strike, Blade Barrier. Holy cow. And then Cleric. Oh uh, no. I like I like the war. What is strength? Strength is in large person both strength, magic investment, in large person mass rages my stone skin legendary proportions, frightful. Blah, blah, blah. Very good. Mm. We go war. Oh, I actually have wait, wait. 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 I have a sound effect. I need to put this in. Come on. <laughs> it's a bit long. It's a bit long. Maybe it should just be the first part. Wa Waluigi. Wa <laughs> Waluigi. Let's see if we can. Uh, do we have anyone? Oh, very thoughtful. Very thoughtful, beautiful one. Die! Yes. So many feet. Oh my god. I need a heavy armored one. 
Oh, these are so cool. Why is he? He's a, okay, aristocrat half old. Two handed weapon? Got it. You got it. We're gonna go. Yeah, great sword would be would be nice because it's Gorums. That was a tiny axe. Not a lot of uh, half orcs with armor on, actually. That one. That one. Strength all the way to 20. Uh, 12 and constitution. Intelligence he don't need. Charisma he doesn't need. Wait, charisma he does need. 12. Right, 19 for the points. Good call, Norkner. And then go 14 con and 14 ch charisma. Oh yeah, he needs wisdom for the spells, right? Oh my god. Clerics need so much. I hate it. <laughs> We're gonna give him toughness feet. Seriously, he needs... Yeah, let's go charisma, whatever. You're a mean orc. Yeah. It's good. Let's go like that. It's good. Mobility for the ability to actually stay away from being hurt in combat. Lore nature. Yeah. Charisma at 13 is what you let you cast that area healing. Yeah, exactly. So the, the problem is we're, we're short on points. We need 13 charisma for the selective channeling. That's true. Constitution does nothing in the end. Is he bad for channeling? Doesn't he channel like everyone else? I think he does. Yeah. Does he? Channel energy? No, I think he gets the same, but the problem is you spend a lot of strength and... on strength and constitution, maybe? Our wisdom, you can't get it all, like. But he's the only healer we have in this group so far. So I think we're gonna go with, we're gonna go with this. Yeah, we're gonna go with this. Uh, what weapon did you say? What are we gonna go with? I'm gonna go selective channeling right away, and then weapon focus or heavy armor. Let's go heavy armor first, so we can we can give him some armor class because well he doesn't have any. Oh, he gets a great sword. Good, good thinking. I didn't actually know they they did that. That's awesome. Race trait, brute. You're a brute. Carefully hidden, uh, legacy of sand. Oh, plus one. That's nice. Will saving. Let's hear you cry. <laughs> Very good. Carry good. Very good. Carry good. Spells not working like that. I think we hit the the character pretty nicely here. Let's see. The hairstyle is a bit off. And it's more brown, brown hair.
and then this should also be black, basically. It's just the wrong outfit for, for him. I am superior! I think that's better. Yeah, that works. There we go! Our muddly group of adventurers await. We have Draco Blade. We, we have the uh, Lord Mungo, the Sword Saint. We have, by the way, Rant, the Invulnerable Rager <laughs> Halfling. <laughs> and he starts with the Great Flail. Look at that freaking thing. Whee! It is as big as his head. F 5 to 12. <laughs> no, you're just the only healer we have. But we don't, we don't need a dedicated healer. I just like the selective channeling. So you're going to be 200 weapon, 200 weapon. Oh, a 100 weapon, no shield. And no shield. Eldritch Archer, we're going to level him up. Pure Magus is great for this. Trickery, Arcana, and World. So we got that covered. Let's go with the Grease and Reduce Person. All right, so I need to set this up. How long is this? One round per level? That's not a lot. All right, then. That's actually the wrong spells. We need snowballs. Screw vanish. Snowballs. Screw shield. Snowballs. Uh, this DLC is only one dungeon. Yeah, it's the dungeon um, that you can go down to 50 levels, I think. But I don't know if anyone has actually been that far. Without cheating. That is. The rage is on. Well, he's pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, he doesn't get the barbarian traits, does he? Shield of faith. And bless, we have here. Nice. That's actually nice. We like that. And what about you? Shield. That's also fine. Get that away, get that away, get that away, get away, get that. That. Touch fatigue. And then we have the spell. Arcane weapon enchantment. And spell combat. It's always on. Good stuff. Uh, there. We might need the cantrips here. Because he can use those for offensive spell striking or ranged spell striking. Archmage Scorpion is down over 75. Oh, really? So it is, it is endless. It is endless. I guess. Very cool. Battle Rage. Touch a creature and give it bonus on melee damage rolls. Very good for this group, actually. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay, my body is ready. What do you have? A longbow. We need a composite longbow. But we don't have any money at all. And he has his rapier. He has his flail. And he has his great sword. Let's go. All right, guys. Heading in after an hour of character creation. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm so sorry. Character creation is, it takes a while, you know. But I had fun. I hope you guys did as well. Viewer characters. I love it.
I'm loving this so much that this could actually be a Wednesday thing at one point because it's so much fun. Okay, so we have our frontliners there. Let's put the... Who is the tank, really? He is, I guess. What armor class is he at? 16. Wait. Oh, he can't. Hmm. 